Hello families, my name is Vanessa Gemignani and I'm going to be teaching the section of fourth and fifth grade form drawing to cursive. I'm very much looking forward to this class. Uh, I find cursive to be a bit of a lost art and I think that you will all likely agree with me on that. Um, and there are so many benefits to cursive. But before we get to cursive, let's talk about form drawing and how we're going to get to cursive. So according to Steiner, um, the human being is of a threefold nature. It includes our will, our feeling life, and our thinking life. And form drawing is a way to braid and marry all three of those um, in a very artistic, creative way. It's a form of art. Um, which develops an artistic, confident hand. Um, it nurtures children's spatial reasoning, it strengthens their fine motor skills and their coordination. So as a precursor to cursive, we will be doing running forms and still forms. So here's an example of running forms that we will do in class together. And these don't just come out of nowhere. They come through a story, which comes through our bodies in movements, using body percussions and different types of movements. And this helps to nourish their, their creative spirits. So these are examples of running forms. And this isn't necessarily a page uh, that we would do together, um, where we would um, have this many forms. I just wanted to give you a sample of different types of running forms. And then this is a still form, which also comes out of a story and is built out of body movements and percussions so that we can develop children's spirits and abilities that are really going to benefit and enrich their lives in more than just this way, right? We only have one nervous system. And so when we're building our confidence and our artistic abilities, and all of these wonderful things that are self-nurturing, um, it's going to affect every area of our lives. So um, children are going to walk away with a lesson book filled with different forms which have strengthened and nourished their spirits, and they will also walk away with a full grasp on cursive handwriting. So here's an example. Again, this is just um, something that I've put together to show you some examples of how we're going to meet cursive handwriting. It really starts out as an art. Um, and I will begin by uh, telling children the story of the sky, grass, and ground so that we can orient ourselves on our pages um, to be around where those dotted lines are. And take a look at the materials list. Um, we will also be working with sand um, so that we can trace things into the sand as forms. And we'll be working with yarn um, and plasticine and other types of tactile things where we can be moving this, these forms and letters through our bodies before we get them onto the page. I found that many children that struggle with handwriting, um, with printing, really take to cursive. Um, and neurologically, crossing over our midline, it makes a lot of sense that these children would find a little safe haven for handwriting inside of cursive. So I hope that you will join me um, and that you'll fall in love with cursive as much as I have. And uh, I look forward to working with you all.